the orbital also LU factorization with partial pivoting. We can obtain LU factorization by Gaussian elimination. Remember in last subsection. But now we use partial pivoting. Also we need we need to consider the matrix form. In matrix form, okay, how to represent the partial pivoting and elimination in matrix form. Okay, then we will obtain LU factorization with partial pivoting. Okay, here. By the Gaussian elimination with partial pivoting, we can obtain LU factorization with partial pivoting. Okay, we just show you an example so you can understand, right? Okay, now we also choose the same matrix in example one. Okay, A, 4 by 4 matrix, 2, 1, 1, 0, 4, 3, 3, 1, 8, 7, 9, 5, and 6, 7, 9, 8. This is same matrix in example one. We practice by Gaussian elimination and LU factorization in last week, right? Okay, now we also choose the same example, but now we apply Gaussian elimination with partial pivoting, and we want to obtain the LU factorization with partial pivoting for this matrix A. It's okay. Now let's practice. Now, okay, step one, okay, you should know what is the difference, the difference between Gaussian elimination and the Gaussian elimination with partial pivoting, just we need to select, select new pivot in each step before elimination. Are you clear? Okay, so that means step one, we need to consider the first column, we have four numbers. 2, 4, 8, 6. Okay, which one has the largest absolute value? Of course, it is 8, right? 8 in the third row. So, in first step, before elimination, we need, we need to interchange the first row with the third row. Are you clear? Okay, so, first, we need to choose, okay? New pivot by interchange first row with third row. Okay, so now you say 2110 change to 2110 here and change 8795 to here. 8795 here and third row, uh, second row is not changed. The last row is not changed. It's okay for you? Okay, so the question is uh, how to represent this operation in matrix form. That means here I show you. It means we multiply from a left side, left side on A, okay, by the permutation matrix denoted by P1. Okay, P1 is this matrix. Okay, I show you 0, 0, 1, 0. 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Clear? And uh, how to obtain this matrix? Because it has name permutation, right? That means also interchange first row with third row on identity matrix. Okay, are you clear? So what is P1? I write here. From the identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay, this is the identity matrix, right? Identity matrix. Now, we just interchange the first row with the third row. Now you see, we interchange the first row to here. Now you see, to third row, 1, 0, 0, 0. And uh, move. The third row, 0, 0, 1, 0 to the first row, 0, 0, 1, 0. Then we obtain P1. It's okay? That means P1 is also, we use the same, same interchanges by row, first row and the third row on identity matrix. Are you clear? So this is P1. We don't change the third row and the, uh, the second row and the, the, first, fourth row, okay? Now you see, 
zero one zero zero here last row zero zero one zero zero one okay okay then actually you can practice by the product rule between the two matrices let's let's show okay for example let's check we use first row multiply first column then what is the result zero multiply two plus zero multiply four plus one multiply eight plus zero multiply six that is just the eight right okay actually you use this row multiply each column that means just obtain the third row right so that is why we can move the third row to the first row because we multiply zero zero one zero here it's okay okay and what happens for the second row the second row we use this row zero one zero row multiply each column so that means we just obtain the same row the second row four three three here one here it's okay and now let's check the third row we use the third row multiply each column okay because we only have first number is not zero so that means just move one the first row to the third row it's okay and here last row zero 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 one 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 okay just move that means we don't move just obtain the first last row it's okay so we checked we interchange the first row with the third row in matrix form it means we multiply a from left side by the matrix p1 okay p1 is obtained just by you perform the same interchange rows first row and the third row on the identity matrix you will obtain p1 are you clear actually these are basic knowledge in linear algebra okay uh, I, I repeat it for you okay i hope you can okay understand right okay now continue we that means we choose the new pirate by eight now you see eight is new pirate now we can consider the animation okay so that means we need to multiply l1 okay remember l1 is the lower triangular matrix with ones on its diagonal okay in first animation that means we use eight to animate the three numbers in the first column okay so we can put the three multipliers in the first column right it's okay for you so here this multiplier minus ratio right minus ratio ratio okay numerate numerate is four actually it is should be minus four over eight right because eight is denominator right eight over four so it is minus one over two and this this multiplier is a minus ratio okay for the third row okay two over eight right two over eight so one over four and the last multiplier is minus okay six over eight right six over eight so it is just minus three over four are you clear three multipliers okay one by one okay then we use this l1 multiply a then we are obtain this new matrix of course for the fir first column below the diagonal they are zeros right animation and also we will obtain these numbers elements okay by using okay multiplier this row multiply each column right third row multiply each column and the third row multiply each column we you will obtain these numbers okay i left it to you okay i hope you can practice by yourself i cannot uh, compute all the all the uh operations okay i have such such more uh, i have no time okay to show you in details so i ask you to practice to check these numbers by yourself are you clear okay 
So this is the first step. Okay, pivoting. Okay, partial pivoting or column pivoting. Choose new pivot eight and first elimination. Are you clear? Okay, first step. You should know the difference is here. We choose new pivot before elimination. Okay, let's come to the step two. For step two, okay, you should note we consider the second column, right? The second column now before elimination, you should choose new pivot. So you need to compare the three numbers, right? Below the diagonal, you don't need to check the first row, right? Below the diagonal, okay? Minus one over two, but you should know we use absolute value. Right? For absolute value, here is 1 over 2, here is 3 over 4, here is 7 over 4. Okay, which one is the biggest? Has the great, uh, largest absolute value. Of course, the third one. Right? Uh, the last one. 7 over 4. It's okay? So this number should be the new pivot for step 2. Okay, again, we need to interchange the two rows. The second row with the Last row, first row. Are you clear? Because we need to choose new pivot. Okay, so by maximal column pivoting, that means we need to interchange the second row with the first row. Okay, so again, we need to use a matrix to represent this operation. Actually, again, we can obtain P2, right? P2 by just the on uh, identity matrix, right? Interchange the second row with the first row. Okay, second row here by four with the first row. So that is why right here one zero zero. I right? we don't change the first row, right? But we change third row or second row by fourth row here. So that is zero 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 one. It is okay because here. And the third row, we don't change it, 0, 0, 1, 0. But uh, we move second row to the first row. So, 0, 1, 0, 0. Are you clear? This is P2. This is P2. Okay, we multiply this matrix by P2 from left side. That means we interchange this, the second row with the first row. Okay, so you see, move to here. 4 over, uh, 7 over 4, 9 over 4, 17 over 4 here, right? Move this row to here, minus 1 over 2, minus 3 over 2, minus 3 over 2. Clear? Okay, we obtain new pivot. So here, new pivot is 7 over 4. Are you clear? Okay, again, the second elimination. Okay, we need to multiply matrix L2. The lower triangular matrix with once on its diagonal. So you only need to know we have the two multipliers. How to obtain the two multipliers? Okay, they are ratio, right? Minus ratio. Okay, this one. This one means, means we need to use this pivot, new pivot, right? 7 over 4 to eliminate this number. So 7 over 4 is the denominator, right? Pivot. And this number is the numerator. So it is minus 3 over 4. Are you clear? So now you see minus minus disappear. Okay? Divided by 4 for both. Okay, no numerator and the denominator. So only 3 over 7. 3 over 7. Clear? Okay, next we use mod uh, pivot to, to animate this number. So the multiplier is minus ratio. Denominator is still 7 over 4. Okay, numerator is here. Minus 1 over 2, right? Minus 1 over 2. Okay, so minus minus disappear, positive. Okay, here and, uh, okay, 2 and 4. Here, just be 2. Okay, and reverse. So 2 over 7. Are you clear? Okay, now we obtain L2. Then we multiply this matrix by L2 from left side. Then, now you see, these two numbers are changed to zeros. Clear? And also we can obtain 
the new elements. These two elements. Okay, first row is not change. Second row is not change. We change change. Third row and fourth row. Are you clear? Clear? Okay. So I also ask you to practice to check to verify these two elements by check you use L two multiply this matrix to obtain this one. Are you clear? Okay. So this is step two. Now let's continue. We need to consider step three. Okay. Now you should know before elimination, we need to choose new pivot again, right? Okay, so now we need to compare the diagonal element and the elements below the diagonal. Okay, so only two elements by absolute value, two over seven, six over seven. Which one is the biggest? Right? Of course, this number. Right? Okay. Again, we need to interchange the third row with the fourth row. Are you okay? Right? You should know before elimination, we need to select a new pivot. Okay, so we need to interchange the third row with the fourth row. Clear? Here, maximum colon pivot, right? Okay, again, we need to write uh, this pivot by matrix form. Okay, so by matrix P3. Okay, now you should understand totally how to obtain P3 again. From identity matrix, right? Using the same interchange rules, E3 and E4. So we interchange the three rules. So we can obtain. Now you see? 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. We don't change the first row and second row, but we interchange the two rows. So 0, 0, 0, 1 and 0, 0, 1, 0. Clear? Right? It's okay for you? Okay, again, that means we interchange the two rows. So you see, this row come here. 0, 0, minus 2 over 7, 4 over 7. And this row change to third row. Minus 6 over 7, minus 2 over 7. Are you clear? Okay, now we obtain new pivot. The new pivot is minus 6 over 7. It's okay for you? Of course, I need to remind you, by choosing the new pivot we use the absolute value right that is just to use to change to select select which one has the biggest largest uh absolute value but we don't change the sign okay for you but you should know here right okay still we just interchange the position not change the sign okay okay for the third elimination that means we need to multiply L3 from left side. Again, what is L3? Lower triangular matrix with ones on the diagonal, right? Okay, there is only one multiplier minus ratio. Okay, denominator still the multiplier, right? The pivot, the pivot is minus six over seven. The pivot and because this number is numerator, right? So minus 2 over 7. Minus 2 over 7. Right? Okay, so minus, minus, minus. So minus 2 over 6. That is 1 over 3. It's okay? Okay, so we obtain the new pivot and the new uh, multiplier by this new pivot. Are you clear? Okay, again, you need to check you use L3 multiply each, okay, each column, you will obtain this matrix. You don't, actually, you don't change the, the third, uh, the first, uh, second, and third row. You only change the last row, right? This number should be zero, elimination, right? So you actually, you only need to check this number. It's okay? So I also left to you. It's easy to check. Okay, now we obtain U, right? This matrix U. Of course, this U is different from the, the U obtained in exact one, uh, in last week. Because now we use parity, right? So we obtain a different, different U. Okay. Clear? Maybe you will, you will ask, okay, uh, what, uh, we, we obtain different U. May, uh, 
we we obtain different uh, maybe we will obtain different re solution. Okay, now let's uh, firstly to show you. Okay, in last week, in last week here, ah uh, here I will obtain here. Now you see, last week we obtain you like this. In example one. Example one. But now, but now we obtain another U here. Now you see, totally, totally different, right? Totally different. Okay, don't worry about it. Let's finish. Okay. Now, in conclusion, these operations can be represented by matrix form. Okay. Now, that means we have three steps, right? In step one, before animation, we use a perm permutation matrix E P one, right? P one to obtain, uh, to interchange, to interchange the first row here. Step one. That means this is the original matrix A, right? Okay, we move. We move, we interchange the first row with the third row. So that means we multiply P1 from left side to obtain this matrix. So this matrix is P1A. It's okay. And also this is P1A. And then we multiply from left side by L1. So this matrix, this matrix is L1 multiply P1 multiply A. Are you clear? Okay, continue. Here, this this is uh, step two, right? So this is uh, P1A L1, L1 P1A. Then we multiply P2 here to obtain P2 L1 P1A here, right? And this is this now, this matrix. So we multiply L2 from left side. Then this matrix is L2 multiply P2 multiply L1 multiply P1 multiply A. It's clear, it's clear. Okay, continue. Step three. Step three. This is P3, right? This is L2, P2, L1, P1A. So we obtain this matrix by P3, L2, P2, L1, P1A. This, this are same. These are two same matrices, right? Okay. Here is L3. Then we obtain Actually, this is L3 multiply P3 multiply L2 multiply P2 multiply L1 multiply P1 multiply A. Okay, it is just U. So, P1, L1, P2, L2, P3, L3. Perverting animation, perverting animation, perverting animation. It's okay? So in each step, we use uh, uh, permutation matrix means perverting and uh, mod, mod, uh, elimination multiply L1, right? P2, uh, new pervert, perverting, okay, elimination, perverting, elimination. It's okay? Then we obtain the U, we obtain the U. Of course, we need to consider because uh, compare with LU factorization, I write here. LU factorization means A is factored by L multiply U. But here, we have P1, P2, P3. Okay, how to deal with them? Here, now, you should know. Since this matrix, the product, L3, P3, L2, P2, L1, P1, it is not a lower triangular matrix L with ones on the diagonal. Okay, so we need to make some uh, revising. What does it mean? Actually, you can see here, this is P3, right? For L3, now you see it is lower triangular matrix. But P3 is not, not triangular matrix. You see here, 1 and 1. Okay, not a triangular. Also for P2, P2, now you see it is not a triangular matrix. And P1, it is not a triangular matrix, right? Okay, we need to obtain L. L means lower triangular matrix. U means upper triangular matrix. 
matrix, right? So we need to make some revision here. Please note here, follow me, please follow me. Okay, now we can use uh, some uh, product, right? Now you see, we, we add a bracket here. You, you see? Here, P, P3 with L2. Here, P2 with L1. Okay, P1 only is P1. Okay, now please follow me, note here. Here, firstly, we add a red arrow here. That means we add a multiply identity matrix here. Okay, but here, okay, I write identity matrix by P3 inverse multiply P3. Okay, we know P3 inverse multiply P3 is identity matrix. It's okay. Of course, P3 is inversible. Are you clear? Okay, can you tell me or can consider what is the inverse matrix of P3? Can you tell me? Or can you answer by yourself? Okay, in classroom, I, I will uh, ask some students to answer me, right? Okay, actually, you see. Okay, here, I show you. Okay, now you see, this is P3, right? Actually, the inverse of P3 is itself, is itself. Why? Why? What does it mean, P3? You use P3 multiply matrix A from left side. That means you interchange the third row with the first row. If you multiply P3 again, that means you interchange E3 and E4 again, then you come back to the original matrix, right? Okay, so that means if you use second time of the same permutation matrix, then you come, come back to the original matrix A. So that means P3 multiply P3 second time is not changed. That means identity matrix, right? P3 multiply P3 equal to identity matrix. That means P3 inverse in itself. Okay, this is P3. Of course, for P2, the same result, right? Also, just interchange second row with first row again, come back. Okay, so P2 multiply P2, it is just the identity matrix. Also, okay, P1 interchange first first row with third row again. P1 multiply P1, just the identity matrix. Okay, so P1 inverse is just self. Are you clear? Okay, so P1, P2, and P3, they are inversible. So we can, here, we can multiply an identity matrix. P3 inverse multiply P3. Here. Here. Okay? It's okay for you? Now, that means, now, I move here. Okay? It's okay for you? So, they are not changing. Only here. P3 inverse P3. Okay? Now, continue. Please note here. Okay. Now, I use bracket here. Now you see? This product, the middle one is L2. Left side is P3. Right side is P3 inverse. But actually, we know P3 inverse, it is just self. So actually, this product is interesting, right? L2 inside and the P3 both Two P3 on the both side, left side and right side. Clear? It's okay? And now, that means we move P3 to here. Okay? This P3 to here. So P3, P2, L1. Clear? Okay. Now continue. Here. Please note here. Here. We add arrow. Red arrow. That means we also add another and the identity matrix here. But here, compare here. P2, P3, then here. We add, okay, a little complicated here. P2 inverse, P3 inverse, P3, P2. Okay, that means this part, this product. 
Are you clear? Now you see L3, L3, P3, P, L2, P3 inverse here, and P3, P2, L1, okay? And now you see this product is identity matrix, clear? Why? Because here the middle is P3 inverse multiplies P3, so identity matrix, and P2 inverse multiplies P2, also identity matrix, clear? And here, P1, P1, A, A equal to U, right? It's okay? Okay, and now continue. Let's use another bracket here. Now you see, this one, just the L3. This one is L2, okay? Two sides, P3, P3 inverse. But here, now you see, we move, that means we move P3, P2 product to here. To here, come here, right? You see, P3, P2, P1, okay? But now, what is left here? Again, you see, this product is interesting, right? Why? Here, because the middle one is just L1. Okay, now you see, left side and the right side, P2, P2 inverse. We know P2 in inverse, it is just self, right? So, P2, P2 here. And uh, here is P3, and also here is P3 inverse, so that means here, we have P3 here, and also P3 here. It's okay for you? Now, let's explain again. This product, middle one is L2, both sides, P3, P3. You should know, 3 bigger than 2, right? It's okay, the index. Okay, this product, the middle one, just L1, L1. Okay, both sides, you see? P2, P3, P2, P3. Same trick, right? Okay, you see? So index, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay, the middle one is L matrix. Okay, its index is smaller than the P, P2, P3, the permutation matrices. Are you clear? Okay, why we need this? Uh, a little complicated uh, com revising. Okay, let's show you why we need this revising. Okay, now, by the definition of permutation matrix, we have PI inverse is itself. It's okay, we just checked, right? Okay, so P1 is itself, P2 it is itself, uh, the uh, inverse, inverse, P3 equal to P3 inverse, right? It's okay? Okay, now, we have, okay, we denote, okay, I need to show you the matrix here, okay, you should know here, okay, uh, I need to move, uh, re repeat it again, okay, left side from L3, you know, P L2, P3, P3, here L1, P2, P2, P3, 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 P2, P1, A equal to U. Okay? Now, let's show you. Because, now we need to consider, I write, uh, okay, I need to uh, uh, write here, L3 and uh, L2 in, in the middle one, right? And uh, here, P3, P3 inverse, remember? And uh, here is L1, P2, okay. I move L1, P2, P3, P2 inverse, P3 inverse, and multiply P3, P2, P1, multiply A equal to U. Remember? We obtain this formula. Okay, let's check. Okay, this is just L3. L3, this matrix, L3 is lower triangular matrix with ones on the diagonal, 4 by 4. 4x4 four four matrix, right? And right here. It's okay? L3 is already lower triangular matrix. Let's check this product. The middle one is L2. Both sides are P3. P3 inverse, now we use P3 itself, right? Okay, we denote this product by L2 tilt. L2 tilt. Okay, now you can check this product just this also a lower triangular, you see, lower triangular matrix with ones on the diagonal. 
four by four matrix. Okay, let's check what the difference between L L two. Actually, let's check L two. Okay, here is L two. One 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 one. Okay, you only need to remember this is three over seven and four over seven. Okay, three over seven. Two over seven. Okay, let's come back. Oh, here. Okay, okay. I write here for L two. L two is uh, one 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 one. Okay, three over seven. Two over seven. Remember, we just uh, come back. Okay, and now please compare the two matrices. Here is L two. Here's L2 tilde. What are the difference? Okay, now you see one 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 not change, but here from three over seven to two over seven, and here two over seven to three over seven. Actually, that means we just interchange the two rows. Okay, if you remember, what's the meaning of P3? What's the meaning? Can you tell me? Okay, P3. Let's come back here. P3 means interchange the third row with the fourth row. It's okay. So if we multiply here, if we multiply L2 from left side by P3, that means we interchange the. Third row with the fourth row. It's okay. Then okay. That means P three multiply R two means we interchange the two rows. The third row with the fourth row. So interchange here two over seven zero one and here should be three over seven one zero. Are you clear? Interchange the two rows. Because we multiply P three, P three means E three interchange with E four, okay. And now we multiply P three from right side, from right side, okay. What does it mean? Do you remember the meaning? If you multiply permutation matrix from left side, that means we interchange rows. Otherwise. If we multiply matrix from right side, from right side, what does it mean? Colon interchanges, right? Colon. Also, E three, E four means colon change. We interchange the two colons. Okay, E three and E four, third colon and the fourth colon. Then now you see, just、uh, we don't change. The first colon, it already one zero 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 one zero zero zero. I don't show you zeros, right? And now you see one two over seven three over seven one two over seven three over seven. Okay, we interchange the two colons. So this colon change here one zero, and this colon third colon change to here zero one. Are you clear? Are you clear? Okay. So now you see we obtain. Lower triangular matrix with ones on the diagonal. Okay, we can obtain L two theta from L two. Just change the position of the two numbers, two elements, right? E two and E three. It's okay. Okay, clear. Okay, similar. Similarly, similarly, we can obtain L theta one, L one theta by L one. Inside, okay, P two, P three, P two, P three. Actually, what does it mean? Okay, because we know P three means E three interchange with E four, and what is P two? P two means here. Let's come back to P two. Okay, P two is here. P two is interchange a second row with fourth row, right? Okay, E two with E four. Okay, now you 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 should remember 
We multiply L1 from left side by P2 means we interchange two rows, second row with fourth row. And multiply P3 from left side means change third row with fourth row, right? And also multiply P2 from right side means also interchange two columns, right? Two columns, second column and fourth column. And multiply P3 from right side means interchange three column with third a fourth column. Okay? So finally, finally you will obtain another lower triangular matrix. One, 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 one. Only changes, only change the number elements, elements below diagonal in the first column. Because L1, L1, let's see what is L1. Come back, L1 here. L1 is here. Okay, you see, minus 1 over 2, minus 1 over 4, minus 3 over 4. Okay, 1 over 2, 1 over 4, 3 over 4. Okay, we just interchange. First, we interchange the four, third row with the first row. Now you see, oh. A second row with first row, then we interchange third row with first row. So only interchange the three numbers. Okay? So L1, L1 is here. 1 minus 1 over 2. Minus 1. 1 over 4. Minus 3 over 4. Okay, now you understand. So we only change the three elements. Firstly, E2 and E4. That means we interchange the two, uh, E2 and E4. Right? E2 and E4. So first row, so first multiply P2 from left side. That means we interchange. So, okay, right here directly. Uh, uh, so P2. Multiply L1 means I, I only show you the first corner. Clear? Okay. That means E2 and E4. So we interchange the two numbers. So minus 3 over 4, minus 1 over 4, minus 1 over 2. Clear? And then we consider P3. Multiply from left side. P3 means interchange third row with first row. Okay. So now we interchange the two numbers so that is why right here minus one over two here is minus one over four here this number is minus three over four are you clear now you see we obtain l1 theta okay here p2 p3 multiply from right side means this part come back to identity matrix just like here from here to here are you clear okay Please practice by yourself. Actually, these are basic knowledge in matrix operation, linear algebra. Okay. Actually, you should, you should master them in college time. Okay. Of course, I, I show you again. Okay. So I ask you to practice if you, if you forgot. So please. Okay. Practice by yourself. Okay. 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 So here, I, I need a clean, I need a clean screen. Okay. So here I show you because we need to clean. Okay, actually we can obtain L1 tilta and L2 tilta just by L2, L1 and L2 just interchange, interchange the numbers because you should note here the index of air matrix is smaller than those of pay matrix. You see? Two, three, three. Here, one, two, three, two, three. Right? It's okay? So that is why we can obtain another lower triangular matrix with ones on the diagonal. Are you clear? Okay, now let's come back. It is clear that L2 tilta and L1 tilta have the same structure as L2 and L1 respectively. Only the entries or elements below the diagonal are permutated, 
right? It's okay. Okay, again, come back here. Now we can use the new matrices. Okay, L three we don't change, but here this product is denoted by L two tilde, and this product is denoted by L one tilde. Right? Clear? And only here we have P three, P two, P one the product. Okay, but here you can you come here. L3, L1, L2 tilde, L1 tilde, they are three lower triangular matrices with ones on the diagonal, right? Okay, further, we can move the three matrices to the right side. How to obtain, how to move them? Okay, again, you should understand, right? So multiply L3 inverse. So here, L3 inverse, then disappear, L3. Then multiply L2 tilde inverse, L2 tilde inverse. Okay, then disappear, but here we have L2 tilde inverse. And then multiply L1 tilde inverse from left side. Okay, so L1 tilde inverse from left side. Then here, we don't have L3, L2 tilde, L1 tilde. It's okay for you? Similarly, move them to the right side, one by one. Are you clear? Okay, so if we denote P by the product P3 multiply P2 multiply P1, and L2 represent the product L1 tilde inverse, L2 tilde inverse, and L3 inverse, just this product. Then what happens? Okay, now we will obtain P multiply A equal to L multiply U. Right? You see? Again, L U factorization. L, or oh, L tilde, only here we use L tilde, right? L tilde is the product of the three L triangular a lower triangular matrices. So it is also lower triangular matrices with ones on the diagonal. And the multiply u is an upper triangular matrix, right? Only difference is here we have p. Okay, so you understand what's the meaning of p. p means interchange rules. In each step, before elimination, we choose new pivot. Are you clear? Okay, so we can make a conclusion, right? Okay, now we only need to know what is P. P is a product of P3, P2, and P1. Okay, you can check finally by the product, right? And L is L1 tilde inverse, L2 tilde inverse, and L3 tilde, uh, L3 inverse. Remember how to obtain the L. Because the product, right? We can just put all the numbers together. Remember? Here. We can obtain. Here, you see? 2 over 7, 3 over 7 here. Minus 3 over 4, minus 1 over 2, minus 1 over 4. Then put them together, right? Put them together. You see? Okay, here is L3. L3 inverse. Just. Okay, of course, minus. Okay, inverse means which we need to change the sign. Remember? How to obtain the inverse of L1 tilde, L2 tilde, L3 tilde. Remember? Change the sign below the diagonal and put them together. Are you okay? Okay, so we obtain, okay, the, in the, in the result, right? We obtain another form of matrix factorization. PA equal to L multiply U. Yes, okay? This is the original matrix A. Okay, now we, we don't obtain LU factorization directly by LU, uh, by Gaussian elimination. We use partial perverting. So that means in each step we use, we choose the new pivot. So we multiply P1, P2, P3, right? Denoted by P. Then that means P multiply A, then equal to L multiply U. L is an, of course here I don't write L tilde, right? Because now I show you the general, 
uh, result. So I all, I use L directly to represent the final uh, lower triangular matrix. It's okay for you? So I don't write it L tilde here. Here is, I, I use L tilde. Oh, okay, okay, here is L tilde, right? But here, I, I directly use L here. So I don't use L tilde here. Are you clear? Okay, so the difference is here. We use permutation matrix P multiply A from left side and obtain L multiply U. Of course, because P may be not unique, right? We can use different, uh, different permutation, right? So that means, uh, partial perverting is not unique.